Hello, welcome to chapter six, lesson six. This is the distributive property. So two headings of the outline of the lesson. We're gonna be working with distributive property. And we will also be working with factor and expression. So we have the real world link. It says three friends went to a baseball game. Each ticket cost $20 and all three friends bought a baseball hat for $15 each. So what does, so the expression is three parentheses 20 plus 15. What does that represent? Three represents friends. 20 represents ticket cost. And 15 is going to represent cost of baseball hat. So we evaluate the expression. We have 20 plus 15 is going to be 35. Then we have, if a 3, we have to remember if a 3 is next to a parenthesis, that means to multiply. So 3 times 35 is going to be 105. So what does the expression 3 times 20 plus 3 times 15 represent? 3 times 20 e represents 3 tickets, and 3 times 15 represents 3 hats. So we have the expression 3 times 20 equals 60, 3 times 15 equals 45. So if we get 60 plus 45, that also equals 105. What do we notice? We notice the answers are the same. So that means 3 times, I'm sorry, 3 times 20 plus 15 that expression is going to equal 3, I'm sorry, 3 times 20 plus 3 times 15. And we're going to learn how to distribute. So distributive property. So we have to, multi to multiply a sum by a number, multiply each add-in by the number outside the parentheses. So we have an example 2 and then parenthesis uh, 7 plus 4. So the 2 can multiply with the 7 and then the 2 can distribute to the 4. So 2 times 7 is 14 and then 2 times 4 is 8 and then we do 14 plus 8. So that's distributing. Is we're distributing the 2 among the inside the parentheses. So the algebraic way, a and then b plus c equals a b plus a c. So example one, find four, I'm sorry, nine times four and a third mentally using this, the distributive property. So what this is gonna equal is we have 9 times 4 and 1 third. I can split up the 4 and 1 third with 9 times 4 plus 1 third. That's the same thing because I'm going to get the same answer. Because if you do 4 plus a third, this is going to be 4 and a third. But now we have to distribute. So I'm going to take the 9 and I'm going to multiply it with both numbers. So I have 9 times 4, and the plus is from here. So since this is a plus 4 plus 1 third, my plus is also going to um, continue with my distribution. And then 9 times 1 over 3. So 9 times 4 equals 36. 
9 times a third, if I do 9 times 1 third, my 3 is going to cancel with my 9, and that's going to become a 3. And that's because I have 9 over 3, and that still equals 3. So 36 plus 3, and the final answer is going to be 39. So go ahead, use the same steps, try A, B, and C. So I'm going to do A with you guys. We have 5 times, I actually need more, more space. So we have 5 times 2 and 3 fifths. Based on the example, I can do 5 and then parentheses 2 plus 3 fifths. Now I have to distribute my 5 to my 2 and my 5 to my 3 fifths. So 5 times 2 plus 5 times 3 fifths. And my 5s can actually just cancel. So this can be 10 plus, I only have my 3 left over, 3. That's going to equal 13. Alright, so I did B and C down below. Make sure your work should look like mine. Example 2, use the distributive property to rewrite 2 and then x plus 3. 2 open parentheses, x plus 3 close parentheses. If you look at the example, we have an x and then 3s, but we have two of them. So that represents 2 parentheses x plus 3. To rewrite this, we just distribute. So 2 times x and then 2 times 3. 2 times x equals 2x, 2 times 3 equals 6, we have 2x plus 6. So go ahead and try D, E, and F. So after doing the distributing, for D I have 8x plus 24. For E I have 45 plus 5x. For F I have 2x plus 6. So example three, Fran is making a pair of earrings and a bracelet for four friends. Each pair of earrings uses four and a half centimeters of wire and each bracelet uses 13 centimeters. Write two equivalent expressions and find out how much total wire is needed. So using the distributive property, four times four and a half plus four times 13 and four, and a, four open parentheses, four and a half plus 13 are equivalent expressions. So Fran's going to need 70 centimeters of wire. So we're going to kind of dissect this a little bit more. So Fran is making a pair of earrings and a bracelet for four friends. So this is where we get the information for. So we know we have four friends. Each pair of earrings uses four and a half centimeters of wire. So it's going to be four times four and a half. And we're also going to need four times bracelet uses 13. 13. So that's how we got the one expression. The other one is we can do four times four and a half plus 13. So go ahead and try G. This is each day Martin lifts 10, for 10 minutes and runs on the treadmill for 25 minutes. Write two equivalent expressions and find the total of minutes Martin exercises in seven days. So the main thing is we have seven days. So we have to do this seven times because he does that each day. So for seven days, he exercises for 10 minutes. And for seven days, he also exercises for 25 minutes. And I can also rewrite this since they're both multiplying by seven. I could put seven on the outside of my parentheses and do 10 plus 25. So I have my two equivalent expressions. Now I need to solve. So we have 70 plus 175 and that's going to equal 125 145 145 minutes 
So now we're going to be factoring an expression. So we have to factor 12 plus 8. So we have to find the greatest common factors of both expressions. So we have to find the greatest common factor. So if we take the, all the factors of 12, we have 2 times 2 times 3. Take all the factors of 8, we have 2 times 2 times 2. The ones we have similar are 2 times 2. And this is review, by the way. So our greatest common factor of 12 and 8 is going to be 4, because it's 2 times 2. Also, these leftover numbers, we are still going to use them, so remember these leftover numbers. It says, write each term as a product of greatest common factor and its remaining factor. Then use the distributive property to factor out the GCF. So how this is going to work is we take our greatest common factor of 4, and we're going to place that on the outside of the parenthesis. In the inside of the parenthesis, we're going to have our leftover numbers. So that's where we get 3 plus 2. And this is going to be how we factor. Because if you take out, if you look at the original problem, if you divide both 12 and 8 by 4, we take the 4 out, 12 divided by 4 is 3, 4 divided by 8 is 2. So this is our new fact, um, expression when it's factored. Now if we're going to use the distributive property, now we have to distribute the 4, so that also equals 4 times 3 plus 4 times 2. So this is factoring and then using the distributive property. So I'm going to go ahead and do H with you guys. So in H, I have to find the factors of 9 and 21. So 9 is going to equal 3 times 3. 21 equals 3 times 7. Now if I look back at the example, I have to find the greatest common factor. My greatest common factors is going to be 3. So I'm going to take 3, and 3 is going to be outside of my parentheses. And the inside of my parentheses is going to be my leftover numbers. So I have 3 on top and 7 on bottom. So I do 3 plus 7. Now, if I need to, do, to distribute, which is not asking me to, but so I can just stop right there. So my factored is 3 times 3 plus 7, close parenthesis. So go ahead and try i and j. So I'm working i out. I found both of my factors for 14 and 28. So I have 2 times 7 is 14. So outside my parentheses is going to be 14. Inside my parentheses so is going to be 1. Uh, 1 plus 2. Because we have to remember, when it, back on this, in example 4, I said we took the 4, if I could divide that by 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Same thing. So f 2 times 7 is 14, so I take 14 divided by 14 is 1. 28 divided by 14 is 2. So now we're going to do J. So if you could do greatest common factor in your head, that's also is going to work out for us. Because I know 8 can go into both 80 and 56. So I'm going to skip some steps. So I'm going to go 8. And then so I know 8. So 80 divided by 8 is 10. And then 56 divided by 8 is 7. So that's a shortcut. But I have to, I have to make sure. This is my greatest common factor, so 10 and 7 no longer have factors in common, so I know this is going to be the correct answer. Example 5, it says factor 3x plus 15. So this is going to be the same thing, except for now we have a variable inside. So if we take the factors of 3x, that is 3 times x. So our, and then the factors of 15 is 3 times 5. So our greatest common factor is 3. And my leftover numbers is still I have an x 
plus five. So this is my factor. So go ahead and try K, L, and M. So when I do the answers, I have four times four plus X, because four times four is 16, four times X is four X. Seven times X is seven X, seven times six is 42. And for M, six times six X is 36 X, and six times five equals 30. But that's the end of the video, so thank you for watching.